Quiet the mind, and the soul will speak. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we have our Mindful Monday segment, where we hear about some of the most common myths around meditation. Enjoy. Let's just be honest. Meditation has a huge image problem. And I've been in the meditation space for about 15 years, starting off as a practitioner, and then I apprenticed my teacher, my meditation master, for many years. And for the last eight years, I have been traveling around the world to different cities, teaching people from all walks of life the basic mechanics, the the physiology, and the biology of meditation. And the general consensus is my life would definitely be better if I meditated, but... It's too hard. I can't quiet my mind. I can't sit still long enough. I don't have the time. So I want to shed some light onto what I feel are the five most common meditation myths in our society. And I want to give you guys some tips that will help make your meditation practice instantly more enjoyable. And I want to show you how you can use meditation to literally create more time to be more productive, and of course, to change the world. But first, I want you to uh, close your eyes. And I want you to imagine in your mind's eye a white polar bear. And hold your attention on this white polar bear in your imagination. And then open the eyes. Okay. Raise your hand if you got distracted and you thought about something other than a white polar bear at any time. Now, that was about half the room. Close your eyes again. And this time, I want you to let your mind roam free. And you can think about anything you want to think about, as long as it's not about a white polar bear. (laughs) Whatever you do, do not think about a white polar bear. It's very important. Go. Okay, open your eyes. Raise your hand if you accidentally thought about a white polar bear. (laughs) Raise your other hand if you thought about it a lot. (laughs) Almost everyone. And that brings us to our first myth that I want to talk about, which is that I'm a bad meditator if I can't quiet my mind. Now, that white polar bear experiment that we just did was an actual study that was conducted by a Harvard psychologist who wanted to see, is it possible to suppress certain thoughts? Except they didn't sit for a few seconds. They sat for five minutes trying to focus on the white polar bear. And then for another five minutes trying not to think about the white polar bear. And just like you, when they weren't supposed to be thinking about the white polar bear, they ended up thinking about it a lot. And some of them were bordering on obsession. That's all they could think about (laughs) was the white polar bear. And the conclusion from this study was twofold. Number one, if you focus on anything after about five or six seconds your mind is going to naturally get diverted to another unrelated thought. And number two, if you try to suppress your thoughts, guess what's going to happen? You're going to end up creating more of the thought you don't want to have. So suppressing the thoughts does not lead to a very positive meditation experience. Now, what they would started studying at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology are these styles of meditation called non-directive meditation techniques. These are actually very old meditation techniques, but... They've just started studying them. And these styles of meditation aren't using the white polar bear method of suppression. Instead, those meditators are allowed to let their minds drift and wander from one thought to the next. And and what they found was that when you allow your mind to wander from one thought to the next you actually get to a very high degree of mental and emotional processing. The other thing they found is 
very interesting, that a wandering mind leads to a rested mind. You activate this rest network that can actually get your mind and your body into a state of rest that's deeper than the one you get when you're sleeping at night. So sitting comfortably and letting the mind wander is actually going to not only cause your body to rest, but it's going to bring a high level of orderliness and efficiency to your mind. So the thoughts you're having aren't obstacles to your meditation. They're symptomatic of your mind actually working on autopilot through the problems that you're having in your life. The next myth I wanted to uh, dispel is this whole idea that there's no correct way to meditate. We've all heard that before. And it's a bit tricky because I believe that all meditations lead to the same goal, which is greater sense of inner peace and happiness. But there are definitely best practices that will allow your daily meditation to feel a lot easier. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, Let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.